Let's check on what's been moving the needle starting in the Bronx where the Yankees are looking to be the real deal here having won 11 of their last 12 hitting 31 bombs over that span while Aaron Judge continues to make the case to show him the money another old movie reference in the offseason leading the majors with 24 bombs so I'll do the math here for you he's on pace guys for 65 at this season so Hannah I want to start with you actually if he reaches that 60 mark how much can he command in okay agency? you asked me to do some math which is okay. I did Sorry, I know. on the math. Aspect. It hurts my head. So ahead of this season, Yankees offered him seven years, $213 million. It was presented as an eight-year deal, but one of us was buying out this year, which is an arbitration year. That works out to, like, a little more than $30 million AAV, average annual value. Okay, so it's something more than that, but it's not going to be like a 12, 13-year yep. deal because he's already 30, and so many of the guys who are sort of around him in terms of production Sign deals like almost all at 27. So ahead of him in war since he debuted is like Trout, Betts, and Jose Ramirez, who were all younger when they signed their extensions. Just below him, Francisco Lindor also was 27 when he signed his extension. I think what Judge wants is more years, right? That's what yep. that's what guys want. So I'm gonna say oof, eight years, 280 maybe. Not quite 300. I, that's the thing. So what, I think, yeah, what's the AAV on that? I obviously. All right, let's see. I did it for you. I did it. 280 spots. for eight is like 35. Okay. AAV. So a very high AAV. I don't think he's going to get too much more than like eight years, and I don't think he's going to get 300. Yeah, it's a 30 on the nose. We're yeah, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I would like to see him approach 40 AAV, just because you've got a guy Max Scherzer signing for the Mets, uh, making 43 basically over the next two years. Um, why, why can't position players? you know, earn that much money. I mean, starting pitchers seem to get, um, you know, huge AAV deals. Not that position players don't get a lot of money and aren't making a ton of money, um, but they haven't approached that level yet, you know. And I really think that this is the guy right now, the way he's playing, he's the best offensive player in the game right now. Um, you know, Mike Trout is still there. There are other guys you could talk about. But what he's doing with the average, um, even he's even playing good defensively. This team is winning. I mean, just everything he's is staying working. Healthy. Yeah, he's staying healthy. Everything's working to his advantage right now to sign – the, the biggest AAV deal among position players all time. And I really think it's got to approach that for me. He's out there every day right now just doing it for this team. If he can prove that he can do it over the long haul this year and they do some great things, I think it only works in his favor. Yeah, Keith, I have a question because you're so dialed in and you're so passionate on this subject. Obviously, I can't even imagine what would happen in the Bronx if somehow Aaron Judge <laughs> is not wearing pinstripes not next season. Uh, if he wants that high AAV, would he be okay with taking a shorter-term deal? No. No, that's done. So the thing about Judge is, like, the season he's putting on, whether he keeps this up or not, he's, he's, it, baseball is easy for him right now. Yeah. He's going to be paid, like, one of the highest players in the game, as he should be. So it's going to be up there. And you also know he wants the years. He wants to retire a Yankee. Mm -hmm. The rest of the league is going to bid on him. And then the Yankees will have to beat those bids. It's going to be eight years. It's going to be close, like you said, to $40 million. The price is so high up that it keeps going up. This guy was playing right field and batting second. The Yankees ask him to lead off and play center, no problem. I've missed his lead off home runs at Yankee Stadium because I couldn't get into the stadium in time. Wow. And uh, I just love what I'm seeing from Judge. He bet on himself and he keeps just doing crazier things where Yankees fans are loving it and no one cares what the price is. Like, it is what it is. I don't think the Yankees let him go anywhere else after this season, which everyone is saying is supposed to be a World Series year. Uh, Judge is going to be a Yankee. They will pay and they will get the years. They already did the, you know, offer in the beginning of the year, which was just like the first offer. Yeah, it was now, like seven for 213. I expected yeah. to be a lot larger. He should be paid as one of the best players in the league. He is arguably the best player in the league right now. Yeah. But to your point, position players do often sign longer term, yeah. lower AAV deals. So that's the thing. So like Mike Trout, for instance, 12 years, 426 million, but that works out to 35.5 a year. So you think Judge is going to get significantly more than that? I think I think he deserves it. I mean, Trout Trout signed that several years ago yes, now. Right. So we're talking about you know Lindor's across the street making a whole lot of money on an AAV, about about thirty. I, I think there's precedent for him to make he, him to be that next jump, that next jump for position players. And you could talk about the only reason he might not set the AAV record or, or get to there is you talked about him wanting to retire as a Yankee, them wanting to keep him for the long haul. You could almost 
see a Bryce Harper-ish deal where they add years on the end, but that number is is big. It's 320. It's whatever it is, and maybe that shrinks the AAV, which is good for the Yankees and the payroll system and the way that works. But at the same time, he'll still get his money, maybe retire a year or two before. Who knows? I don't know how it'll work out, but I could see that being a possibility too, where they tack on some years, make it 10, 11, 12 years, whatever, but the the AAV shrinks then, and that that's. No, it makes complete Fair. sense, and yeah. you're guaranteeing, you're right, that he will retire in the Bronx. Could you see him getting seven for 315, which would average out to 45 years? I, I think year. he's getting at least seven years and at least, like, 34. But he's going into his age That's what I'm saying. See, there's not going to be a 10-year deal like, like him playing when he's too. 40, like 40, 40. You're over the hill. <laughs> I don't he think can he be wants a, a seven-year deal. No. But he's also six seven. Like there aren't a lot of comps for dudes his size, like experiencing longevity. He's a one of one. He's a one yeah. of one. There's a lot of people that wanted to say Judge was injury prone. I never tagged him as that because he had some freak injuries. There's a lot of people that want to say Judge is going to break down because of his size. Like I just said, this guy's leading off playing center field. He's running around out there having a good time. He's been healthy. Well, he's played in 92.8. If they sign him to a 10-year deal, they no, should move not. him to the side. <laughs> he's played in 92.8% of the games since last season, and he missed most of that time due to COVID. Yeah. So it wasn't like he's available. injury prone. Yeah. yeah. And he shouldn't even be a center fielder, really. I mean, he is a right fielder. He just has had to do it out of necessity for this Yankees team. He'll find somebody to play center field. He will move to a corner and obviously at some point be a DH too, which he does at times as well. So. And then would you be able to justify $45 million a year for a DH? 45, 45, that might be a little high. Like, oh, I'll, 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 I'll stick around 15. that 40 area. Hey, I'll Judge, I got you. I'm oh, negotiating for you, apparently. Yesterday's <laughs> price is not today's <laughs> price. 45, 45. Okay, well, before, I, was, I was throwing out 350 Hey, for, uh, for a guy who, if he can go out there and play every day, I'd give him 45 because he deserves it. Yeah. I, seriously, he's already he really made does. the Yankees a ton of money. Right. Yes. He's already made the Yankees a ton of money. He's going to get paid. Yeah, if you look at it, return on investment. Yeah, it actually does make a lot of sense. He's already made the Yankees a ton of money in the last six years. They're going to pay him what he's worth. So moral of the story is the Steinbrenners are going to show him the money. They better. Yeah. When you win a World Series, when you win a World yeah. Series, you print money. So let's but get it, it done. It was reported, though, that Cohen is not going to go after him. I don't know him. Gentlemen's agreement, I don't know anybody named all this stuff. Never heard of him. I'd be amazed if he didn't, because I've heard otherwise. But. Oh, okay, the plot thickens here on Off Base.